Okay, so today we will be looking at a helper called Expose Transform. Basically, all it does is that it makes. Oopsie. I need to find a dummy. Help me find that dummy. The dummy is like a square. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Why do I always move the wrong thing? Got you! Is the dummy? Oh wow. How cool. But anyway, this is what it can do. You move the dummy, and then when you move the dummy, they are attracted towards it. If you have no idea what I said, stay tuned. This is the final scene, but if you move the dummy, you can make like amazing animations. Like you can make stairs and stuff. So, let's get started by delaying everything and going to our home. So, first you must, must have to make a box. You can't make anything else. You can't um, make a sphere. Unless if you want a sphere to be pulled, and that is going to look ugly. Because the segments will stretch. Now, go into your Helpers tab, and then make click on Expose Transform. And then go ahead and click it anywhere you want. But just one, then make a dummy, and then do that. This must be aligned to this object. So, you click on Align click on the box to center center x y and I click on OK select this and then go into your modify tab uncheck parent expose node box local reference node dummy now um, this is the hard part select the box animation wire parameters wire parameters go to box height then select the expose transform and go to object and then you get all of these but you are looking at distance it should select height for you then you just click on this and then connect then you exit now whenever I move the dummy oh yeah yeah if I move the dummy closer it gets shorter and this is what I mean you must select only these two. You will not select the dummy. Only these two. The expose transform in the box. You hold shift and then you drag. And then you'll see you have a copy. Instance and reference. If you make it an instance, they will all be the same. So you have to make it a copy. Must be a copy. And then you choose how many copies you want. It's going to use 10. Now. I will select these, but you may not select the dummy. If you select the dummy, you're good. And then you I'm just gonna make ten again. And they must be a copy. Ten. Now watch what happens as I move this. I have no idea how um this plugin works. I just watched a video and they had they had no idea how to describe it. So I decided to make one and well that's what you get. That's your finished product. You can um, put this in like reactor, make these like static, and then a ball, and then like if you animate this, this is what's gonna happen. Dump point ball, baby, baby, or anything you want. So you could like make a sphere like in the middle, and then it goes you all of a sudden, like in reactor or mass effects or something, which I have never tried because it failed easily. I hope this teaches you something. You can use this for anything you like. You can use this for magical stairs. Like, so they say, get on. <laughs> get it? And also, the higher it is, then the higher they will be. And the, and if it goes below zero is the Z axis, that's what's going to happen. Hope my video is helpful. And um, subscribe if you want to and I'll see you next time um yeah that's all I gotta say so, but I think you can use something else from the dummy but I suggest do using the dummy because I have no idea if something else will work by the way this is um 3ds max 2013 which is amazing so um bye see you next time